Hello. Let's talk about Chapter 3 Homework. First, let's talk about how to calculate the overtime rate. In this example, we have a non-exempt, salaried worker who received $50,000 in annual compensation for a 35-hour work week. What is his overtime rate? Do not round in the intermediate answers, round the final answer to the nearest cent. So, let's do this calculation together. We take the 50,000 and divide it first by 52 which are the numbers of weeks in the year. Then, we divide the result by 35 because 35 are the numbers in the work week. That results as the hourly rate, however, we want the overtime rate which means we need to multiply hourly rate by 1.5. The result is $41.21. Let's try another example. In this example, we have a non-exempt, salaried worker who received $90,000 in annual compensation for a 45-hour work week. What is his overtime rate? Do not round in the intermediate answers, round the final answer to the nearest cent. We again start with the annual compensation of 90,000 and divide it first by 52 which are the numbers of weeks in the year. Then, we divide the result by 45 because 45 are the numbers in the work week. That results as the hourly rate, however, we want the overtime rate which means we need to multiply hourly rate by 1.5. The result is $57.69. We are going to continue with this example where a salaried, non-exempt worker has annual compensation of $90,000 for a 45-hour work week. We need to calculate the weekly wages for this employee when the employee worked 49 hours for the entire week or 4 hours more than the regular work week. So, what do we do? We first calculate the regular weekly wages by dividing 90,000 by 52 weeks per year. That is $1,730.77. The employee also worked four hours overtime and we need to calculate the overtime pay. We do that by taking the annual compensation and dividing it by 52 for the number of weeks per year. Then, we divide it by 45 for the number of hours per work week. Now, we'll multiply it by 1.5 to get the overtime rate and then, we can multiply it by four hours of overtime. The result is $230.76. Finally, we add the overtime pay and the regular pay to get the total gross pay for this week. Let's now take a look at Paula Warren who works at Arctic Outdoor Gear. She earns a base salary of $26,000 plus a 9% commission on all sales. She is married filing joint with four dependents, three under 17 years of age and one other. During the bi-weekly pay period ended June 16, 2021, Paula made $20,000 in sales. So let's tackle this problem together. First, we need to enter Paula's filing status, which is married filing jointly with four employees, which is abbreviated MJ-4. Next, let's enter the period wage. This is the annual base salary of $26,000 divided by 26 because Paula is paid bi-weekly. The result is $1,000. Now we can enter the sales amount into the next column. We'll calculate the commission by multiplying 20,000 by 9%, which is $1,800. Finally, we'll add the regular bi-weekly pay of $1,000 and the commission. The result is $2,800. That's it for today. I hope this was helpful information and will make completing your homework easier. Please remember to use the Check My Work feature. You have three attempts on every homework. Don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions.